folks. I just want to give you an idea of some of the seedlings as they start. Uh, this is a full sun tray and I have number three through seven on here. I used uh, two trays in order to complete uh, the <clears throat> seeding process. So here we are. Now this one here is Coreopsis and I propped all of these on March 23rd and the first ones to open up were the cut leaf, uh, cut leaf cone flower, which is number seven, and then number three, which is the Coreopsis lancinata. I did put multiple seeds in here. Um, I just really wanted to get them propped and I can separate them. They're pretty, pretty hardy. It's when you get into the lupins that you really need to have a separate seed because they can be very, very, um, cut, well, when you have multiple roots in the, multiple plants in that one cell, they kind of compete against each other. So again, we're planting for a garden, so we're only putting one seed per plant. And you can see that they they all started propping. Now this is after three days of soaking the seed itself in water just to soften the shell. Now lupins were also uh, was started three days before the 23rd, so you could say on the 20th of March, I started soaking in water and I put them in the soil um, <clears throat> on the 23rd. And the first lupin started opening on um, April 1st, so that was like, uh, you know, just a few days. So I'm pretty, pretty pleased with that. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to point out one lupin that kind of sprung out too far, and I think we can save it. We just have to help it a little bit, and so I'll get into detail with that in just a few minutes. But, uh, um, but I just want to give you an idea of how well they, they germinate. This one here is switchgrass. As you can see, it looks like a grass. And this is the bergamot, the Monarda fistulosa, and this is the lupins, and the lupins are start with number four, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows of lupins. Nothing's happening here yet, but I suspect in time they will germinate. And, and this is number three, the lance leaf coreopsis. All right, let me get to showing you some first aid with a lupin. Thank you. So one of these lupins did not start growing properly. I think it was a little too close to the surface. And what happened is it sort of sprung out. Now, I already pulled it out, so it's hard to see what it exactly looked like before. But basically, from this point down was out of the ground. So we really want that in the ground. So what I did was... I just recreated a hole for it. So you have to make sure it's deep enough. I'm going to put it back in without touching it because I don't want the, anything from my hand on there. And I'm going to try coercing it down. There. So now I can use my fingers to, to kind of plant it downward. and hope it grows. I'm going to give it a little bit of water just to help seal up any of the air pockets next to this root that's growing. Just very lightly. Oops. That one got a little water too. But now I'm going to repress just to make sure there's sealed up. Alright, and I think that would be a little bit of an emergency planting for a little lupin seed that popped out a little too far up out of the ground. And I think that could have been caused by um, just myself not planting it deep enough, though I'm not so exactly sure. But that's what I do is if they look like they're not look like they're growing right, I will go ahead and uh, reestablish it inside the cell. Thank you.